What's up, my beloved? You guys, today I'm making stuffed bell peppers. I'm not gonna do it step by step because. I already had a video out there on how to make it with the ingredients listed down below and everything that I do, took, I did step by step in the video. So you guys, if you ever want to know how to make my red, um, uh, stuffed bell peppers, just write, um, type in the engine, B loves life stuffed bell peppers. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna show you the outfit of the day because I know a lot of y'all be want to know what I have on. So you guys see it all, man? I can see it all. Okay, so I have on a blue jumper, y'all, with the balloon arms. Uh, this jawstring, drawstring pants is very comfortable. It's um, kind of pulling at the uh, at the feet, you know, the hugging the feet, not you know, elastic or whatever. Y'all know I don't know how to explain nothing. Then I got on some um, crystal Philippine shoes with some things. This is the back side. This is the side view. And this is the front view. It's very comfortable, um, easy to lounge around in, and you guys, it's, it's, it works. Okay, y'all, now my lighting may not be the greatest. Outside right now, it's very, very uh, rainy, dark, and all that stuff. So if you see me looking a little red, that's why. So this is the um, items I'm going to be using so far. So here we go. On the stove, I have my meat already done, y'all, because um, we have had spaghetti. And when I had spaghetti, I said, you know, I made the spaghetti and this is already, it was frozen. I got to heat it up, y'all. Not frozen, but it was in the uh, refrigerator. And then there's my rice. I had made me some roast and stuff this weekend or whatever, or past, whatever. And these are the bell peppers that I have to cut up. This is the cheese. And I just want to show y'all some rice I use. I use this type of rice. You guys can use white rice or whatever you want to use. It does not matter. And then we have my um, cheese grater over here. Sorry. I'm going to try to make this video very, very quick, y'all. So I'm going to see if y'all can see me. Babe, wait. Hold on, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, it's focused. So this I have my bell peppers. And so what I'm going to do is really pretty much cut off the bell pepper tops. And I'm going to cut them right at the tip. Y'all, I'll show you exactly step by step on how I do this on video. Because this is what, actually this is one of my, this is probably the second video I've ever done on the history of my channel. Which is crazy. Y'all, so I take the tops off like this. Now usually, when I take the tops off, y'all, I usually use... You see this? That's how you should, should look. So now you're going to try to gut that. I usually use the top, the bell pepper tops, and I cut it into my meat. Because y'all know I'm a bell pepper fanatic. Fanatic. So I'm trying to get that excess uh, white stuff off right here. You know, not the white stuff, but the uh, flesh of the bell pepper out. So this show, basically your bell pepper should look like this. So that's the, that's the look we're trying to go for, y'all. So, and then we're going, now you want to use a glass pan like this when you stuff them and put them back in the oven to let it uh, heat up again. You know, so the cheese and stuff can melt. So right now I'm doing, so this is basically what you do for all of them. And you can get whatever color you want. Y'all, I really don't too much care for the green ones. I do, sometimes I, I did the green ones in my, my video because I was trying to, really uh add color you know that's about it i was trying to add color so look at that so i'm trying to cut it out of de-gut it de-gut this okay so this is gonna be take a process y'all but hey i'm keeping y'all on here while i'm doing it i know y'all just be like my stuff be too long but hey y'all ain't got y'all ain't got nowhere to go don't act like you do and if you do got somewhere to go, can I go with you? Can I go with you? See? You want to degut this thing as much as you can. We don't want no seeds in there. And I had already uh I've already uh, washed off my um my bell peppers. So y'all can I ain't gonna show y'all because I if you believe me, you believe me. If you don't, you don't. 
So y'all, if y'all don't know, I am on Cameo. If you want a shout out, um, ooh, you want a shout out, hit me up on Cameo, y'all. Ooh, there we go. These seeds I fall. This, this is actually uh coming out pretty clean. I'm gonna leave my link down. Look, I'm 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 all over the place. I'm gonna leave the link down on the description box below of the cameo where the link is at where you guys can reach me if you guys want to shout out. And what it is is I just shout you out on one of my videos. And I give you a personalized shout out on cameo. Check out your channel and all that. Tell you what I think and all that. You know? Yeah, I'm making six peppers, y'all. And there's not, you know, there's no type of strategy to this. This one don't feel too good. This one feels sick. I don't think it's sick. It's just that, you know how sometimes your refrigerator um freezes on one side more than it does another side? Or it gets a little cold and, it, you know, like I said, it does. It freezes itself. Why refrigerators? I think that does it be because it's overcrowded. Why does it do that? Some of y'all experts out there, can you tell me? Tell me why does it do that to the food when it's in the refrigerator? I don't know why it does it to the food. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Tell me. Tell me why. Tell me why. Huh? Why are you killing them? I'm killing them softly. No. Killing me softly no. with no. his song, telling my whole life. Sharing my whole life. Right? Killing me ah. softly. Ooh. Y'all, so. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to make this, you know what I should be doing? Heating up this meat. That's what I should be doing. And y'all, and, and my, I got, I got, uh, now you can make these bell peppers any kind of way y'all want to make them. Y'all can make y'all some Alfredo type of stuffed bell peppers. You can make you some turkey stuffed bell peppers. You can make you some seafood stuffed bell peppers. You can make any type of peppers you want. That's, that's the fun thing about the bell peppers. You can stuff them any way you want. You can have whatever you like, you like. You can have whatever you like, hey. You really can do them whatever, you, whatever way you want to. This stuff is really coming out really good. So if you really cut them at the top like that, you ain't really got to worry about taking a lot of flesh out because it all comes out with that one, um, once you do the top. Because I didn't have a lot of flesh in here because I just came all out, which is a good thing. Because you don't want to eat them seeds, I'm telling you. Now let me take, I done got a few seeds in here. I do not want in here, which you really don't mind because ain't like you're going to eat it. It ain't in the bell pepper. Okay. Wait a minute. Yep. So this is how your bell peppers look. Y'all see? They should look like that. Okay, so we got that step done. Now, step two is I'm gonna put this, actually I'm gonna cut some of this. So I have some of these that I wanna cut. I like, and I told y'all, I do use the, the bag cheese, but the best cheese to use is this type of cheese. First off, it's cheaper. It is cheaper, y'all. It's cheaper to keep up. It's cheaper to keep up. Yes, it's cheaper, y'all. So what I'm going to do is scoop this on over here, right, chair. And I have a uh, pepper jack, and you can use any cheese you want to use. I have pepper jack, jack. I got mozzarella, and then I got the extra sharp cheddar mozzarella. Uh, this is yeah. So it don't care. I don't. It don't matter what brand, but I do know it's cheaper than buying the bags, and I don't. I know why because. Ain't nobody got time for that. Cutting up, I mean, you know, cutting up no cheese. But, hey, if you like your cheese to be really, really fresh, 
and very melty, very, very like it's more creamier. I don't know, more moist. Got a more more moisture in it. Somebody help me out. That's a chef. Let them know what I'm trying to say. Let them know what I'm trying to talk about. Okay, so we're gonna go down like this. Now, what we're gonna do is now, I don't know about y'all, but I love, 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 love. When I say love, a cheesy type a bell pepper. It has to be cheesy all through it. So, what we gonna keep on layering and layering it and layering it. Cheese, rice, then we gonna put, I don't like a lot of rice, so you gonna see me put very little rice, but y'all know what? Let me turn this meat on. Sorry. Get that bad boy going. So, what I say is, I like a lot of, uh, I don't like a lot of rice. Y'all see how that's cutting up right down? Shit, shredding right there. But anyways, I just put a lot of, uh, a little rice. I put, I focus more on the cheese and I like the meat. And so I even sometimes put meat on the side because, y'all, I'm a meat eater. I love meat. But that bell pepper, I, let me tell you something why I get the uh, yellow, orange, and um, red bell peppers. Because it has a sweeter type of taste to it. Um, the green bell peppers are good too, but it's more a, of a, uh, a bolder taste to me. You know what I'm saying? Which is nothing wrong with that. It's like a bell peppery taste. I just like the sweet type of taste to the colorful bell, bell peppers. If you know where I'm trying to go with that. If you know what I mean, jelly bean. So, this is the sharp cheddar. I didn't use all of it, but look how much I did use, you guys. See? And all I'm going to do is push this over to the side. I have this much left. I'm going to put this in a, a, a Ziploc bag. Because I have nothing but a lot of Ziploc bags to put things in. I have a lot of them, y'all. A lot of them. So, like I said, you don't have to use this type of beef. I have Colby Jack cheese in there too. But, hey y'all, I'm just using this. I just grabbed these three. I said three would be enough. I got. I just grabbed the pepper jack, the mozzarella. Look, that's already sizzling. I'm just gonna do half of it. So, basically, you're gonna do as much cheese as you want, whatever kind you want, and then you're just gonna keep on piling it up, piling it up, piling it up, because we're gonna put them bad boys back in the oven for 25 minutes. For 25 minutes, y'all. See all that coming out. Maybe I should get another plate. So, 25 minutes, and then we're going to let that cheese bubble up. You know what I'm saying? Basically, that's what you really want. The, the, bubbling, the bubbling of the cheese, that's what you, that's what you really want. And so, oh, you know, actually, I'm going to save that yellow cheese and put a more yellow and white because you want it to look pretty, too, when it comes out. It looks more better. More better, better. My husband just walked in. Y'all heard that we're not walking. Yeah, Can't deny it. Why? Y'all like it's too crooked for y'all? You think they notice it on camera? Yes. You do? I got a big piece. This big old piece of cheese? I'm eating it. Thank you, Jesus, for this cheese and Jesus' name we pray, man. Oh. You still see? I'm my mom. Mmm, yeah. This kind of cheese, y'all, is just too good. Man, I'm gonna get that on. What y'all that on? Medium? Sure. Yeah, you can stir it up. And so now, I know some of y'all can skip to this part, but my thing is, you really don't have to skip because, like I told y'all, y'all can head on over to me. Uh, just search, put in the search engine, B Love Stuff Bell Peppers. And y'all, that is the, that, don't laugh at me. Don't say nothing. I'm in the red kitchen. I'm in the red kitchen, y'all, first off. Second off, that's my second video I've ever done in my life. 
Maybe I was more professional then. I was more professional now. Everybody looks professional after 52 takes. Yeah, 52 takes, you be like, uh. Ugh. No, 100 takes. You know what? I don't need your help. Because we'll, we'll go back to your days. Oh, uh, I had 90 takes. I, I said I had about 100 takes. It probably first 200. Who knows? You had to come up. You had to become one with this camera. No, you just got to not care no more about being perfect. Cause you can't be perfect. You can't be perfect. But you think in your mind, okay, I don't want to say that. Don't want to. Yeah, listen, y'all, that's stressful life. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Just be yourself. You can't. You can't go on here being somebody else. You cannot. It will not work. Be yourself. Ooh, look at that. See? Be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Ooh, that 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 uh pepper jack is good. That that good, good. Okay, so we got some pepper jack over here. We got that mozzarella on deck. And we got that sharp cheddar in the building. So now let me take y'all over here. Ooh, ooh, wiggle, wiggle, wobble. Sorry, wiggle, wiggle, wobble. <laughs> so anyways, what my husband do? Did he turn it all the way down? I turned it on. You, you turned it off? Yeah, Yeah. Well, if you was gonna search it, if you if you was gonna track it, okay, y'all. So basically, right here, I have some water over here that needs to start boiling. Actually, we're gonna put this over here on this fire. What you need? What you need? What you need? I want you to. You want me to hold the camera? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. What's what I'm doing? I don't know what you're doing though. What? Okay. What stove am I going on? Y'all see how confusing I am? Confused? Okay, so I put that on the medium. So this is a pot of boiling water. Not boiling water, but pot of water, y'all. And so what I'm gonna do with that pot of water is I am going to blanch my peppers. My peppers, I'm gonna make it so that the peppers are just for three minutes, that's all you want. You wanna make sure you bring this water to a boil and Cause you don't want the peppers to be raw. Cause having them in the oven is not gonna cook them. You don't want to cook them too, too much. But so if you put them in three minutes, it kind of soften up the skin and the flesh. I mean, you know the the inside of the bell pepper. So you'll be able to put the stuff stuff in it. So you keep it in there for three minutes. I'm telling y'all, three minutes. Three minutes. That's it. That's all. Don't you walk away. Don't you go answer that phone. Don't you go do some other stuff. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. And so, we're going to bring it to the wall. Right now, I have uh, some rice over here as well. Now, listen, this is here, rice that I'm heating up. And so, what I'm going to do is probably add a, a stick of butter to that. A half a stick. And then a, uh, or maybe some chicken broth. Let me see if I got some chicken broth. Chicken broth. I don't know if it's in there, but it's something in the pantry. Mm -hmm. Something in the pantry. Y'all, something in the chicken broth. Oh, yep. He was white. We got the chicken broth. We got the chicken broth. So. So what I do is add a little chicken broth to that. And then what I'm going to do is Probably uh, let that steam. Get some, get some leftover rice. We had what we had that night, baby. Mm -hmm. Roast beef. I have. We had some pork rolls. Yeah, we had pork rolls. Cornbread and pork rolls, cornbread, vegetables. And rice, yeah. And rice. And so this is what I had left over. And I said, oh, I can use this rice for my bell peppers. Why not, huh? Anyways, um, so I'm going to let this get kind of a little bit hot. We're going to put some more uh, chicken broth in it. Sure. So 
it's already got butter in it. It's going to soak it up. So, you guys, you can do the rice. Like I told you, you don't have to use this kind of rice. I use the broccoli cheddar rice. I like flavor to my rice. I'm really not a person that like a lot of white rice. So, this is what I do. But, like I said, you can make any type of rice. You can, do, you can make stuffed bell peppers any way you want. Just Google, uh, on, um, if you don't want to make it this way, Google online. Google on um, YouTube of how to make stuff bell peppers like the Alfredo way. Or maybe you want to make the, uh, Alf uh, not the Alf Alfredo way or the seafood way. Or maybe you want to do like shredded beef and um, vegetables. Nothing but a vegetable stuff bell pepper because you don't have to have meat. You can have a veggie stuff bell pepper for the vegetarians that's out there. Believe me. It's good. It'll be good. My husband don't like vegetables, y'all. It, it's, it's sickening. It's sickening. I like that meat. What, what kind of meat are you talking about? I'm talking about meat. But the way you have to say, I like that meat. I like that meat. I like that meat. Give me some of that meat. Give me that meat. Give me that meat. Okay, y'all. So, with my, uh, this is my meat right here, y'all. So, what I have in this meat, I have tomatoes, like stewed tomatoes. Well, not really stewed, diced tomatoes, y'all. I have some stewed tomatoes that might have been ate. We had this left over from my spaghetti. So I got Italian sausage, regular hamburger meat. Oh, yeah, there goes a stewed potato. So I did have stewed potato in it, but y'all didn't see a lot of it. But anyway, stewed tomatoes, not potatoes, tomatoes, y'all. Why y'all making me mess up, huh? I'm going to start blaming it on y'all. Anyways, I got mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, all that stuff in it. Y'all know how I make my stuff. Y'all know I'm, I'm over the top with everything. Um, I got a little brown sugar in there. We got tomato paste and all that stuff. So you basically make the base the way you want to make it. It's not really no uh, rhyme or reason on how you make it. Did I say that right there? Yeah. The battery's running out. Where's the other battery? Oh, it's in the car. So y'all, what y'all see my water? You know I can't. What, like? what? Water. That's what I'm saying. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's that what you thought. thought. Okay. okay. So I'm going to take this. And what you want to do is take this. I'm just going to add these bell peppers to this. Okay. So I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put the top over it. We have to change the battery, y'all. So I'm going to let this sit in here for like another minute and a half. In the meantime, I'm going to preheat my oven to 375. Um, uh, so it is preheating the oven to 375. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the steps that I do when I'm stuffing my bell peppers. And then what I do is when... Um, it's all said and done. I am going to put them, put a lot of cheese on it, put it back in the oven for 25 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how hot your stove gets. And then you're going to take it out, maybe put more cheese on the top for another three to five minutes, put it back in there to get that very cheesy, oozy, very fresh look. And then you'll be ready to eat. Now, what I would suggest that you would make sure that you uh don't go right in like you know when you when it when it's done let it cool off some let it cool off i know it's gonna be good but let it cool off so you can be able to enjoy it you know what i'm saying so um i think i'm gonna start putting my so what i do is so we got the meat it's already heated y'all know this process is gonna take much longer because y'all gonna have to make the meat i suggest that if you're making spaghetti always put some meat to the side for you to make stuff like bell peppers because when you're making hamburger meat and making it this way, try to make a few Italian dishes out of it. You know what I'm saying? And like this meat right here, I know I'm not going to use all this meat. So guess where it's going? This is something my husband don't like to hear. But he ain't going to know the difference once I be making food. I am going to freeze the rest of this meat, y'all. And we're going to have some more spaghetti. Spaghetti, Eddie. So I'm going to... Turn this off. Okay. So I got a mess over here. 
I'm gonna switch around. Yeah. I do. It's a whole big mess. I got a whole mess over here. Okay, so I, I know my peppers, y'all. I know somebody yelling at me. The peppers! The peppers! I hear you. I hear you. So you getting the peppers out? Yeah, I'm gonna get the peppers out. I'm gonna okay. get some peppers out. Peppers out. Okay. So. See, it ain't that too bad. You don't want them too bad, y'all. So you get the peppers out. You don't want to cook them because they're going to be in the, uh, in, the oven. in the oven. Ooh, this one almost. Look at how that almost tore, y'all. You, you got, want to make sure they don't tear, though. You got a little lean with a rock with it? Lean with a rock with it. So, you like, they're going to be a little hard, but kind of warm. Like I said, y'all do not want to really overcook these things. I had to watch that. Uh, so, that's the basic thing all you're going to use with that water. So there you go. You see that? Oh, you know what, y'all? Let me tell y'all what I just did and I should have done. What did you should have did that you didn't do? I want to be able to. Ooh, this is hot. Let me see, y'all. Wait a minute. Because I want this to be able to go right in when I'm done. So basically, what I'm going to do is, y'all, we're going to add a little bit of spread of this in there just to give it a little base you know what i'm saying y'all this is what i do y'all yeah. chefs know what i'm talking about right not a lot just a little to give a little you know so it won't stick you know just a little something i don't know why we do it hey looks like the right thing to do don't it I can't say, you know. I see people doing this stuff like stuff like this all the time. You do, eh? Mm-hmm. Also, let me do a little clip in here. I usually put holes in this too, y'all. Look at me, I'm looking a mess. I ain't got stuff together. When you put holes in, and I know y'all see this in uh, my video. Putting holes in the bottom of this so it can have time, uh, give the bell pepper an area to drain. You want it to drain. So I put holes in it like this. So all the liquid, the liquid fluids to drain out of it. Not too deep, y'all. Just enough. So I do that to all of them. So y'all get the drill. I wish y'all could answer me back. You gonna put some more of that juice down? Or mm -hmm. then, uh, spaghetti stuff? Yeah. Whatever you call it. Yep, 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 yep. That's the base. That's the base. That's the base, 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 base. And y'all, y'all don't have to do this. Y'all don't have to do what I'm doing, but y'all know I do the most. On some of my stuff, I do the most. So, here we go. And so, then I'm going to do, uh, put that right there. Put this right there. I just want it to be yellow, red, orange. Yellow, red, orange. Orange, red, yellow. Okay. So, we got that done. So, now we finna do the stuffing. We're over here. How's that white shirt doing? Oh, that rice almost burning. See, that's enough. We just need a little bit of it because I don't like a lot of You don't like a lot of rice either, do you? Or you do? I ain't gonna notice it when it's in the thing. Huh? So I won't notice it when it's in the thing. What? I'm set up.
Okay. Step one, step one, step one, 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 we want. No, baby, is that it? Yeah, it is. You want to stop it first? No, I just want you to keep going. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is add some, I don't know if y'all see the cheese. The cheese, no. No, 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 I don't want to be the, that far back, baby. It's That's so why I had... It's showing everything, though. But is it far back? Do you want it up close, showing everything? Yeah. I can't see stuff this right Yes, there. you do, because you got to make the leg like I had it. There we go. Turn the thing around. I know what it's... What, yeah. Turn the thing around. Y'all, I'm sorry we're doing this only with y'all. Come up. All the way. All the way. Yes. Thank you. Is it nope. Lean into the left. Okay. So I'm gonna put some cheese down here, y'all. So we stuff it with cheese. This is mozzarella. Put a little uh sharp cheddar. Mozzarella sharp cheddar. See? Yeah. But let me tell y'all something. It's going to, it's literally going to go down, y'all. So you'll be able to stuff a lot in here. Because I like to stuff two, two double time of cheese in mine. So we got the mozzarella, we got the pepper jack, and we got the sharp cheddar. And I'm going to show y'all how it looks. Then we got the... So yeah, next time y'all make some um I like a lot of cheese, y'all. Cheese and meat. I don't really care too much about the uh. So we got that. Now we're gonna put a little a little rice. Do the rice the way you wanna do it. I'm probably gonna put two spoon. That's it, y'all. But you know what the good thing about it is you can have the rice on the side. If you would like, ain't nothing wrong with having you some rice on the side of your uh, bell pepper. Or you can serve this on a bed of rice. You know what I'm saying? A bed of rice with the meat to give it more of a uh, fullness if you need to be. You need be. Or you can have this with some cornbread. But me, I usually just eat two big old huge bell peppers. And that works for me. So now, we finna stuff it with some um, ground beef. Not ground beef, but the bell pepper. I like a lot of this though. So, let me put this over here. I'm actually, let's actually let this switch. Switch out, switch out. We got this over here. Can y'all see? Yep, y'all can see. So I'm putting um, this in there. And you can always, like I said, add more meat as you go. I love, 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 love the meat. Love, 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 love the meat. So, and some bell peppers are bigger than others, so you're going to get be able to get more in it. Some are way more smaller, so I don't know. You got to do what it do, baby. Do what it do. We finna, we finna tear these bad boys up. I'm hungry, too. I'm finna tear this bad boy up. Hey, tear this bad boy up. Hey, 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 tear this bad boy up. Rip off that, rip off that, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip that, rip that, rip, 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 rip. Yeah, what am I on? I tell you, I don't be knowing sometimes. Y'all be thinking y'all know. I ain't know nothing, y'all. I ain't know nothing. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some of this. This is the pepper jack. You know what? I'm gonna cut up the rest of that. Um, y'all see how much cheese I'm putting on there? That's what you want. That's what you want. That's what you need. 
and this is gonna melt really good y'all and then when it's done I'm gonna sprinkle some yellow on there so it can look more prettier more you know better okay so this is how it looks y'all Nate So, you know? yeah. This is how it looks, y'all. It should look. And now I'm going to put it in the oven. For 25 minutes. 25 minutes? 25 minutes. Should I put it up here? Yeah. Up here? Yeah, it's fine. I think I do want to rearrange those racks, though. Y'all, so we're going to do it for 25 minutes and then we'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, y'all. Yeah. You said you got it on. This is how it's looking, y'all. So far. So what I'm going to do is add some more cheese on that. Mm -hmm. Then I'll put it right back in there. I don't even know if that was 25 minutes, y'all. I'm just going by the way it looks. I'm just going to put that a little bit on there for a little... So then I'm gonna put some cheese on top of that again. And it's only gonna be in there for like three to five minutes, y'all. Just enough for the cheese to melt. Yeah, just enough for the cheese to melt. Again, I like a lot of cheese, I told y'all. We're gonna do one for three to five minutes, let the cheese melt, and then we're gonna be done. That's that fresh grated cheese. That's that fresh grated cheese, baby. Love, 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 love. Oh, I need to put some. Let it stick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get it, get it, get it. Come on. Y'all know that's a lot. I know y'all like, hey, but shoot, it's my cheese. It's me, y'all. Cheese don't constipate me. Do it constipate you? Mm mm. People, some people say cheese constipates you. I've Not never my had system. A with that. No. It comes right I, on I, out. I've always heard that, but I've never had a problem with it. Me either. I, that's why I said to each his own. Get your own little thing going on in your own body. Okay, so that's the cheese. I added that much cheese on it. Let me just. I got that much on there. Okay. So, got my little gloves. Put it back in there for about three to five minutes, y'all, until y'all see the cheese melting. So just check back, and then I'm gonna do a thumbnail. Okay, y'all, this is the end. I'm taking them out the oven, and this is how they should look. So I think I'm gonna do a thumbnail with this like this. Don't get too close up, Nate. You can see my hair nostril here. Step, step I got to close the oven, don't I? To see the oven? No. I think you too far uh, uh, up or something. So y'all, I can see. Look at them bell peppers. Get a close up, baby. La la la. I probably would put. You could put some green stuff on it to make it look real pretty and festive. Mm -hmm. Oh, you let me, let me, let me close the oven now. Let me get my parcel. Mm, they smell so That's good. Y'all y'all definitely need some smell of vision right now. Smell of Ooh, they smell good. I know they do. I that's that's, that's bomb right there. Huh? That's bomb right there. You gotta close that because my face is melting off. He, I don't know why he didn't come up here for us. Um, yeah. Because you holding the oven. I said because you holding the oven. I'm holding this. I'm doing, it. I'm doing my thing. These are just onion chives. 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 Chives, 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 chives. Oh, and then I want some um red pepper flakes. And we're done. You want know red pepper flakes on your own plate? No. I do not want no crushed red pepper. Let's see how you gonna um, mess up my little... Go ahead, do it. I'll take them off. 
How you gonna take them off? I don't know. Get them off. That's how it is when you're cooking for multiple people in the house, you know. I can't stand it. Can you imagine it. if you had a house where you had no. vegans and vegetarians no. and, and all this other you stuff? You wouldn't be eating. What you mean you wouldn't be they eating? They wouldn't be eating. What's oh, everybody, every man for themselves up in this house. Every man for themselves. Every man for themselves, huh? Yeah. Really? That's what I say. Really? That's what I believe. Okay, y'all, that's the end of this video. I should maybe do a thumbnail shoot. You did a thumbnail. Maybe right? it look, but it look prettier with the red and green. Oh, okay. I Let's think. Try it again. Does it look better? We smell like pizza. What? You just messed that whole thing up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you statue now? We did the freezing game. Okay, y'all. On that note, try y'all some um, bell pepper stuff. Bell peppers, they are very, very good. You would not be disappointed. If you want to know this whole recipe and look at it, all you got to do is type in Be Love's Life uh, bell peppers. Stuffed bell peppers. Uh, Stuffed bell peppers. But I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below so you guys can go check it out. Okay? That's what I'm going to do for you. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below so you guys can go check that video out from front to end, from beginning to the end, and also I have the, the everything step by step. That's when I was good, y'all. That's when I was a professional. Step by step in the description box so you guys can be able to follow step by step of what I did and I and I showed you throughout the video. So on that note, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone and everyone. Let me know what your girl's doing. Shout out. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Peace out. Peace, love, and hair green. Share and subscribe. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.